Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I want to talk about file save. So I've just created a, a scene, and I haven't set up any name for it yet. Now, traditionally, I do a, a file save or a file save as to set up the name for this file. But in Synthize, you have a couple of different options. You can, you can do things the traditional way, or you can turn on the autosave feature and initially Synthize is going to start up in a mode where it asks you the question what do you want to do do you want to use autosave or not now if you use autosave Synthize is going to periodically save the file and you have a preference to set that typically it's set to every minute and that'll give you a you know a relatively current backup at, at all times if you if you're doing that then that has impact on how you handle things. If you want to start playing with a file and just at experimenting, you know, it's going to keep on saving over that file. So you want to do a file save as before you start doing any experimentation typically. If you're using more traditional, just manual save approach, then you can experiment and then you can just trash the file anytime you want without having to worry about the original file being changed. So it's kind of two different strategies to working. The autosave is kind of a more phone or tablet sort of approach. The uh, having the autosave off is a more traditional approach. So we, we have Synthize now asking you explicitly which workflow you'd like to use. Now if you have autosave turned on and you're in a situation like this, you've just opened the scene, then after a minute or so, it's going to want to go and do a save, but there's no file name. So what happens next is going to be determined by this particular preference here. And with the ask setting, it's going to pop up the file picking dialog that will let you choose the location and new file name to save the file. And, you know, that's the safest, uh, sort of more useful sort of approach that it lets you get it that get the new file save uh, set up right at that point in time early on so I, I think that's actually a good a good choice some people find it a little intrusive so you can actually tell it that you don't want to save at all in which case the file isn't being backed up at all or you could have synthize just save it as an untitled file and that's sitting out in your own little personal area as an untitled file and that way you do have a backup if you need it for whatever reason. So those are your basic autosave options. Now we can start to look at auto increment facilities. So the idea here is I want to keep a bunch of version files. So I want to have, you know, my file number one, file number two, file number three, so that if I, I go in a particular direction and decide, well, that, that isn't working out well for me, I want to go back to an earlier version of the file, you'll have those available automatically. So you can do that manually using file save next version, which is going to take the current file name and just increment the number that's at the end of it. So it goes from file 1 to file 2 to file 3 and so on. So you can do that under manual control, or you can do that automatically, and you can have it do it every time there's a save, if you so desire, which will give you a lot of different versions. And you notice that that's actually going to create a whole lot of uh, different copies in the event that you've got autosave turned on, that basically that would give you a, a different version every minute. And that's probably a bunch of overkill. The file's going to be pretty large. So you actually have an option that lets you say how many minutes you want to have between that increment. So you can have the minutes per autosave set to just the one, so your file's being backed up continually. But set this minutes per auto increment to 10, say. And that way you'll get a new version of the file 
every every so often automatically. You notice if this value is zero, you'll get a new version every save. But you know, as I said, you can you can have it just increment that file name periodically. So that's a kind of useful capability. Now I, I skipped over this increment increment upon open option. That lets you automatically increment the file name immediately when the file is opened. So if you open file 3, version 3, it's going to immediately change the file name to, to file 4. So that way it's not going to be, there's no chance of overwriting the original file. So that's a kind of handy capability. That addresses the issue of, well, I don't really want to be, you know, I don't have to think about this whole thing with autosave of if, if I start to experiment and then decide I want to back up to an earlier version. If you turn on the increment on open, then it's going to go and make sure that you're always working on a copy of whatever new file that you open. Now, of course, with all these different versions, you can wind up having, you know, just do many of them. So Synthize gives you the option to limit the number of versions that you have. You can just turn that on and say, well, now I want to have, you know, only the last 10 versions, say. So if you start to think about all these different options, you know, if you have the number of minutes per auto increment set to 10, and you have the number of file versions set at 10, that's saying you're going to be backing up the last 100 minutes of your work, say. So these settings also apply whether you're doing the manual saving as well if you're using the file save next version. So you do get a bunch of different options here with SynthEyes with being able to save the files. You can also, there's a new file save a copy as well. So trying to accommodate a bunch of different workflows for people. So in the manual you'll find there are a couple of different uh, configurations that are listed for you for reference so that give you some starting points to play with. So take care, enjoy.